we're the nerds and we're here today in Sevierville, Tennessee. We have an awesome video for you. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. What are we doing today, Steph? We are looking at some murals. Murals. So we're going to do a mural <laughs> tour of Sevierville, Pigeon Forge. I think there's one or two in Gatlinburg as well. So we're going to go show you the murals, give you a little information about each one. We'll have a, the locations in the description below. We're at our first one right now, Red's Cafe mural. So with that being said, you ready, Steph? Ready. Let's get this mural tour started. <laughs> Let's go. Here we are at the first mural, the Reds Cafe mural in downtown Sevierville. There's the courthouse right there. And back to the mural here. Yeah, so this is at 129 Bruce Street here in downtown Sevierville. It's a huge mural featuring Dolly Parton as a child at Reds Cafe. And the server's handing her a hamburger at the counter. It highlights the community of Sevierville and the famous Dolly Parton. We love Dolly Parton. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> Uh, many years ago, Red's Cafe used to be here on Bruce Street. Not anymore, unfortunately. It's right here at the Wonderless Salon and Spa. Um, but when Dolly was six years old, she had her very first hamburger here. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, you may recognize the name Red's Cafe because at Dollywood, um, Dolly replicated it and made a Red's drive-in um, back in the Jukebox Junction section. We were just leaving the Red's Cafe mural I know this is a mural tour. I want to show you something really interesting yeah, we just saw. Yeah, this is a mural. So they have a plaque here that's talking about historic gel bars. Um, and so in 1856, um, one of the sheriffs accidentally started a fire that destroyed the courthouse and the adjacent jail. So there are two, they started using the um, gel bars to craft into gates to cover storm drains. There's two of them left, and one of them is right here in front of this mural. And we thought that was pretty interesting. I've never seen... Seen this. That's the gel bars right there. And again, there's the mural. So point of reference, you're right in front of the mural, right down here. That's pretty neat. Yeah, oh. Did you show the? Um, yeah, Smoky Mountain and... Mural Company. Yeah. We are at the next mural now. This is the Monarch Butterfly, and they have these cool LED lights down here. So at nighttime, it actually will shine up on the butterfly, and then light it up. And then just for a point of reference, this one's in the parking lot here. So there's the courthouse there. There's the gazebo there straight past that tree right there is red's mural that we were just at and so in this parking lot here here's the butterfly right here yeah, i don't know if you said it but this is called wings of wonder by pinky um it's located like you said in the parking lot downtown for downtown city of across from reds um and it's just a monarch butterfly it's, it's really absolutely neat. gorgeous this is a great artistic piece right here I think this is one of the first ones we've ever seen. This one a lot of times have lines here. I remember when we first saw it, there was nothing here like this. They've built all this around here. They paved yeah. this area. They put up some little flowers over here. They add these little lights here for the different colors. So it's just a really nice, well done butterfly mural. We are outside the Pines now. So this used to be the Pines Theater a long time ago. And now it's the Pines, which has recently reopened. And so this is at 230 Court Avenue, Sevierville, Tennessee, just on the side of the building here. And if you look down this way, there's the courthouse there where the Dolly Parton statue is. So you're just down the main area from Sevierville, uh, Sevierville Courthouse, I should say. And back to the mural here. Uh, so left to right, you got Roy Acuff, Archie Campbell, June Carter Cash, Chet Atkins, and then Dolly Parton and down in the middle there at the bottom, the young Dolly Parton. Um, so it's just really cool, well done. Looks like they're building a marquee out front now, the Pines. So that kind of be a, a cool look when it's done. Back to the old Pines Theater. Um, this Pines Theater actually closed in 1957, and then at the end of 2022, it opened back up. It's had a grand opening here recently. Uh, this is the entertainment venue. It has food, drinks, and games, duck pin, duck pin bowling, retro arcade games, and a huge pool table where you play kind of like soccer. And this is Dolly Parton's first paid gig here as well. Um, so also inside of Dollywood Jukebox Junction, they have a Pines Theater. Uh, also another inter interesting fact is Cass Walker. The Cass Walker Show was at the Pines Theaters on Saturday nights. And the Cass Walker Show is what helped Dolly Parton launch her career. So Cass Walker also uh, owned many grocery stores. And if you go to Dollywood, there's a Cass Walker supermarket sign in Jukebox Junction as well. So just a couple of cool facts there. So we are at Hillside Winery now for the next mural. This is another butterfly wings here, also done by Pinky, also called Wings of Wonder. This is on the side of Hillside Winery right here. 
So there's the sign for it right there. There's the main entrance right there coming in across from Severe Air right there. And then this is the side of the building right here. And this is a beautiful mural right here. I love the colors, the blues, there's some pinks, some purples, some light blues in there. And if you look closely too, you can see some of the vines and the grapes coming through there. So it's wine themed, like the vineyards. And then all put into a butterfly. So another really good butterfly wing mural. Uh, Pinky has done some amazing art for sure. So really neat. We are behind Three Bears General Store now for the next mural and our murals if you want to count the butterfly and the pigeon forge sign is two. But this is directly behind Three Bears. You can come in that way and come right back here or you can come in to the left over there and come back here. This is the additional parking around back. This Pigeon Forge one is probably one of the most iconic ones we've seen so many times. We see people park their cars in front of it. We see people take selfies in front of it. Uh, so just so many times we've seen this mural pop up. And you got the butterfly one over here as well. So I'll start over here at the butterfly one. It's another butterfly wing mural. I love how it's got the little butterflies surrounding it. Uh, I see a butterflies on each side and the kind of the orange and the, the yellow there. And love the purple colors on it. Just a really nice mural. And then come over here to the Pigeon Forge one. I mean, it's just, it's so well done. I think it's, it's been here for a while too. As long as I can remember it's been here. And um, if you look closely too, every letter has something. So there's Dollywood. There's the Gem Mine, which is out, out front of this store. There's the Three Bears General Store. That's the front of it there. And they have the Three Bears there. There's the Island Wheel. Down here you have the old mill, Sawyer's farmhouse and the arcade. You got moonshine, you know, it's part of the history here is moonshine. There's an old moonshine still in the mountains there. You got Hatfield's dinner, store, uh, dinner show. You got the old Dixie Stampede, which has changed names now. The fun time trolley here and the Titanic. You also have the track down here and the zip line. So, just a lot of iconic stuff and cool things to do in the area here. On the bottom here you got the three bears, and the mountains, and the background and the river there. Uh, yeah, just a really cool pigeon forge mural with the butterfly there. I just love how each letter has something inside of it that's representative of this area. So that's really cool. We are at the Listening Room Cafe now, and they have a mural of the headphones here on the side of the building. They're closed right now, so I can't go into the patio area, which is on the side of the, the uh, fenced off area now. But there's a look at their mural there of the headphones. Looks like a really great job on those. So here's Gatlin's Escape Game's newest location. It's not opening yet. Uh, it's supposed to be opening soon though. I could not find the exact date for it, but love the mural they painted here. It's got a lot of vibrant colors on there. It's got the UFO with the pine tree there, a plow with lightning coming out of it. It's got a skull there. So this is a really cool mural they painted on the front of the building here for the new location. And it's right here next to Baskin Robbins, so you get some ice cream as well. And just for a point of reference, here's the parkway here. Big Top Arcades across the street. And then Fantasy Golf is right there as well. And then uh, Country Bear General Store. And then back over here to Gatlin's Escape Games. Here we have the next mural. We're at the Mill Bridge Winery. This is the Wings of Wonder right here. It's got the beautiful purple and the kind of pink red hue tones to there and the black. It's just a really cool uh, butterfly mural. Down here they got the Rocky Top Wine Trail. So we can, we can scan that QR code right there. And now you have more information about the wine trail if you like. And then just for a point of reference, over to the right is the old mill. So there's the little waterfall there. There's the old mill restaurant. So this is the whole old mill area out here. This whole line is nice. You got tables out here if it wasn't ready. You come out here and drink wine with tables right by the river and everything. But there's the next mural. I really like these butterflies a lot. The wings of wonder. We are now behind Crave Golf right off the parkway. And here's the next mural. Just show you a point of reference real quick. So this is actually behind here. This is all a parking lot for the building as well. If the parking lot is up uh, full up front, there's the bridge going over there, convention centers there, and the river's there. And then on the back here is where the mural is. So this one's really cool. Crave Golf Wings is what it's called. I love this one. We've seen this one before a few times, take a few pictures in front of it, but look at all the candy on this thing. It's just really cool. 
it's really neat. There's a bunch of candy goodness in there. You have your chocolate. Like Oreos. Your Oreos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your gummy worms. Your big old lollipops here. Yeah, just. Really cool. So, oh, there's like Kit Kats up there. Oh, there's like unicorn little sucker things, too. There's a swirl cone. <laughs> Is this one? Oh, look, Steph. A ring pop. You got the ring pop in there. You know, sometimes you glance at these and you're like, this is pretty cool. But once you actually look at it, there's so many different things. Tootsie Rolls. Those look like Red Hots. Yeah, they do. The Red Hots right there. Uh, yeah, once you look at it, there's so many extra things. Like there's a little sour worm thing. You mentioned that. A there's double a bubble cane. right there. Where's yeah. the candy? Oh, yeah, candy cane. So just... Kit Kats. Kit Kats. The Reese's Peanut Butter you mentioned. The she Twizzlers. Yeah, we can sit here and name candy for an hour. <laughs> but this is just a really cool one. Now, Toy Box mini golf is owned by the same people that own crave and there used to be one toy box that had all like kind of 80s 90s and early 2000s toys most of the 80s and 90s and uh we went by there today couldn't find it asked the gentleman working there and they don't have their mural up anymore so we were hoping to show you the toy box one and there is a new golf coming by the same owners uh that has like a mermaid theme uh kraken or something like that along those lines or it says kraken or kraken this summer i think is what the sign says and it's up further towards a Sevierville area um, but it's going to be a new mentor golf coming to the area up here but back to this mural i love the candy that's cool what's your favorite candy other stuff you think um i don't i think my favorite is the peanut butter chocolate peanut butter cups peanut butter cups for me your wings? i think the ring <laughs> pop is so cool but here we are at the next mural now. This is the Gatlinburg mural. This is at the corner of Smith & Son Corner Kitchen here and Airport Road and Historic Nature Trail. This one has the eight foot tall black bear on it. This really encompasses the Smoky Mountain National Park, the big black bear, that's hashtag Gatlinburg down there. It's just a really cool mural. And remember, don't feed the bears. I like this one a lot. It's right here on Smith & Son, right in front of the building here. And just a huge eight foot black bear. The last mural was here at Loco Borough on the second floor. We hope you enjoyed the mural tour.